In 2023, a number of men with disabilities in Russia increased by 30 percent compared to 2022. So according to the Pension and Social Insurance Fund, 2.17 million men with disabilities were registered in Russia in 2023 at the age of 31 to 59 and another 290,000 people at the age of 18 to 30 years. This is a record figure for the last eight years. The increase in the number of men with disabilities is likely to have been caused by increase in the number of disabled military personnel. Even a partial inclusion of them in this statistic can change it. I think that in reality there are tens of thousands, if not hundreds, of disabled military personnel. If the increase is less, it means that they are partially or completely hidden. Alexei Raksha, demographer, in an interview with the publication Verstka. And the number of Russian men injured at the front will increase for as long as Russia continues to wage war against Ukraine. For the Federation's economy, this is no small burden. And at the same time, such dynamics will lead to an even greater shortage of labor force and will inevitably have a negative impact on the demographic situation. In the wars of World War I and World War II, when Russia suffered huge human losses, and this generally affected the dynamics of fertility to this day, there were so-called demographic waves, and every 25 years they caused problems and accordingly the population declined, but what happened in 2022-2023 is of course a catastrophic situation, because at this point we lost hope of at least neutralizing the negative demographic trends. In 2023, according to official data, 1,200,000 citizens were born in Russia. This is the lowest figure since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The demographers predict that 2024 will be the worst year of birth rates in Russia since the beginning of the 19th century. What is happening now that people are dying, that many people are becoming disabled in Russia, that hundreds of thousands of people have left not wanting to fight? These are all dramatic things for demography. The number of burials in cemeteries associated with the Russian Defense Ministry and PMC Wagner has also increased sharply in the Federation, the Telegraph reports. In one section of the Tula Cemetery alone, the number of graves quadrupled between October 2021 and April 2023. In the same period of time, a brand new section appeared in the neighboring cemetery, which tripled in size. Both cemeteries are located near Rezan in western Russia, where units of the 106 Guards Air Assault Division are based. Its troops took part in the first battles of the war and later in the operation to capture Bakhmut together with the PMC Wagner. Western intelligence estimates that up to 20,000 Russian soldiers could have died in the battles for this town in the Donetsk region from the publication in the Moscow Times. The satellite images of the graves provided by Muxar Technologies are striking, said former British Army intelligence officer and NATO planner Philip Ingram. I'm not surprised by the apparent increase in cemeteries near bases, as Russia is currently losing over 900 troops per day for minimal territorial gains. However, the increase in the number of burials does not reflect the real casualty figures. Many bodies remain there on the battlefield. Identifying and repatriating the dead is not a priority for Russia, as it helps hide the true scale of losses from the public and saves money on compensations for families. Philip Ingram, former British Army intelligence officer and NATO planner from the Moscow Times. Experts say that a sharp increase in male mortality, a growing number of people with disabilities and as a consequence a failing birth rate will inevitably lead to a demographic collapse in Russia. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.